sensible? How you gonna make sense of somebody murdering you? When you get people get murdered, I mean, they did. Done, life is gone. Back here in New Orleans, three men killed, five others wounded in a series of shootings that scarred an otherwise picture-perfect Mardi Gras back in the city. Well, Mardi Gras officially ended at midnight, and as cleaning crews made their way through the quarter, New Orleans police, exhausted from weeks on the parade route, were just getting started investigating three separate shootings. Take a look at this new video obtained by the New Orleans Advocate along the St. Charles Avenue parade route near 2nd Street. The shots that were fired sent the people scattering and left a man wounded. That man later died. New Orleans Police Chief Michael Harrison just gave an update on yesterday's violence. By any measure, the violence we experienced yesterday was extremely disappointing considering how great Mardi Gras was going. But I speak for the men and women of NOPD when I say that while we are disgusted and while we are outraged because of this senseless violence, especially at a parade, which is an event for families and children trying to have a good time, we are not discouraged and we will not be dismayed. And Paul Murphy has been following this story today. He joins us live with more on how friends and visitors are reacting to yesterday's shootings. Paul. Karen, it's, it's a shame that these shootings happened in the first place, but for two to occur while the Mardi Gras parades were still rolling on St. Charles Avenue is now giving some visitors reason to question their safety here in the city. And a third shooting outside a house party down in the lower Ninth Ward is now has family and friends pleading for the violence to end. Witnesses say three gunmen opened fire into a car near the corner of St. Claude and Andre Street in the Lower Ninth Ward. The shooting happened last night around 830 outside a house party. Two people were killed and three others were injured. Police say the shooting may be related to gang activity. A family friend of one of the victims, identified as 26-year-old Jamal Robinson, said the violence has to stop. At the end of the day, Jesus is not turning nothing around down here. We got to turn it around. Us as people, our lives, our cultures, our structures, we got to change it. Hours earlier, there were two other shootings while the New Orleans Mardi Gras parade was still rolling on St. One shortly after three near Union and Carondelet left one teen shot in the head, another shot in the leg. The second shooting happened about an hour later near St. Charles and 2nd Street. One man was rushed to the hospital where he later died. We spoke with tourists visiting the city about gunfire along the parade route. Uh, from Philadelphia, you know, we have our problems, you know, but I mean, it's not going to stop people from coming to the city. It's not going to stop people from having it's a not, good time, what back. they came there for. I just think it's what's expected. You know, every, every Mardi Gras you have a few. So it's, it's, that's why we go to Mardi Gras in Biloxi. One visitor, Brian Byers from Muncie, Indiana, is a Ball State University criminologist. He said violence like this oh, no, is not, not unique to New it's, Orleans. It's, it's characteristic of any major city. You know, when you, when you mix alcohol, uh, copious amounts of alcohol and the festive atmosphere, um, things, can, things like this can occur, unfortunately. The NOPD released this grainy picture of a man police identified as the possible shooter in the incident at Union and Carondelet. The NOPD also identified 22-year-old Eddie Dingle as a suspect in the shooting near St. Charles and 2nd Street. Police have a warrant out for his arrest on a second degree murder charge. And if you have any information about any of these shootings, you are urged to call the NOPD or Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. We're live at NOPD headquarters, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.